In this video, we'll learn how to use rank methods in the board account to find the winner of an election. Let's consider this problem. An election was held with the results shown here. Determine the winner using a rank method where first place votes are worth 10, second place votes are worth 9, third place votes are worth 3, and fourth place votes are worth 1. So essentially what we're doing here is we're assigning points to each candidate based on their positions on each of the ballots. So what we're going to need to do is find the total number of points that each candidate got from all of the ballots that were cast. So we'll make a little chart here, and we'll have one row of the chart for each row of our voter profile, with another row at the bottom for where we're going to put the total. So how do we start filling in the table? Well, for the first row of our voter profile, we have A being ranked in first place. Now it says that first place votes are worth 10, and there are 17 voters that have cast a ballot that looks like this. So that means we're going to multiply the number of voters by the number of points that candidate A gets for each of those ballots. So that's 17 voters times 10 points per ballot gives us a total of 170 points. For each of these products that we're computing, go ahead and use your calculator to figure them out. The next candidate here is B, ranked in second place, and again we have 17 voters. So we're going to multiply the 17 voters times the 9 points for each ballot that B gets here. C is ranked in third place. Third place votes are worth 3, and there are 17 voters casting this ballot. So that means we have 17 times 3, which is 51. Finally, D is ranked in last place. Last place votes are worth 1 point. We have 17 voters, so that means we have D getting a total of 17 points from these 17 ballots. Let's do the next row. We have B ranked in first place. We have 11 voters ranking B in first place, so that means we have 11 ballots times 10 points per ballot for B gives us 110 points. C is ranked in second place. 11 ballots times 9 points per ballot gives us 99 points. D is ranked in third place. Since third place votes are worth 3, that gives us 11 times 3, which is 33. And then A is ranked in fourth place. Fourth place votes are worth 1, so that gives us 11 times 1, which is 11. So again, for each spot in this chart that we're making, we're going to multiply the number of ballots times the number of points that the candidate gets for each of those ballots. So if we fill in the next row, it's going to look very similar. So D is ranked in first. We've got 8 voters, so it's 8 times 10, which is 80. C is ranked second. That gives us 8 times 9, or 72 points for C. A is ranked third. That gives us 8 times 3, or 24 points for A. And B is ranked fourth, so that gives us 8 times 1, or 8 points for B. We fill in the next row, and then the next row. And then finally, we add up the totals. So it looks like A has a total of 273 points, B has 282, C has 269, and D has 165. So the winner of this rank method election is the candidate that received the largest total number of points, which in this case is B. So B is the winner of this rank method election. Let's consider this problem. An election was held, and notice again that it's the same voter profile. Now we're asked to determine the board account winner. So what's the board account? Well, the board account is a special kind of rank method. With three candidates, the scoring method is that first place votes are worth two, second place votes are worth one, third place votes are worth zero. With four candidates, the scoring goes three, two, one, zero. With five candidates, we have the scoring go four, three, two, one, zero, and so on. So last place is always worth zero. And if you notice, first place is always worth one less than the number of candidates. So with three candidates, first place was worth two. With four candidates, first place was worth three. Five candidates, first place was worth four. And it goes down by one each step until you end at zero. So let's use board account to find the winner of this election. So again, we already used a different rank method earlier and found out that B was the winner. But now we're using a different rank method. But it's essentially the same problem, just with different point values. So when we say board account with four candidates, what we mean is first place votes are worth three, second place votes are worth two, third place votes are worth one, and fourth place votes are worth zero. So we're going to fill in our chart very similarly to the way we did it before. In the first row of my table, I've got 17 voters. A is ranked in first place. First place votes are worth three, so that gives me 17 times three. B is ranked in second place. Second place votes are worth two, so that gives me 17 times two. C is ranked third. Third place votes are worth one, so that gives me 17 times one. And finally, D is ranked fourth. Fourth place votes are worth zero, so 17 times zero gives me zero. So we fill in the next row of the table the same way, and then the next row, 
and then the next row, and then finally the last row. And then the only thing that's left to do is to add up the totals. In this case, A gets 78 points, B gets 69 points, C gets 65 points, D gets 46 points, and the winner is the candidate that receives the largest total number of points, which in this case is A. So notice that if we change the point values when we're using rank methods, the winner can change. So we don't talk about our rank method winner, because depending on the point values, a one rank method could give one winner, and a different rank method could give a different winner. However, the board account is always the same point method, so we could talk about the board account winner. And so for this profile, the board account winner is candidate A.